top of the money, y'all. What it do, what it do. We about to get into another live reaction one time. This time I'm about to do an actual reaction once again. I ain't did one in a minute. On the, on the trending topic of Tiger Aikaramba. This one is by a LA rapper from Hartthorne, California named Misfit Soto. Misfit Soto is to believe, I believe he's Puerto Rican and Mexican. I believe he mixed. And if you're Puerto Rican, you got, you know, black DNA. Everybody know that. Because Puerto Ricans come from Puerto Rico, which is a mixed culture. It's basically, it's like Afro-Latino. And uh, a lot of them be in New York, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we about to get into this and see what's really going on. Uh, and by the way, Tiger just took down that video, so it caused so much controversy. Now the video got took down. So let's see what he talking about. Okay, so he's saying Tiger grew up in Gardena, which everybody know. And he grew up on the side with the Vietnamese, now with the blacks and the Mexicans. Because in Gardena, I lived in Gardena once upon a time. Uh, yeah, the blacks and the Mexicans, they fuck with each other heavy in Gardena. Ain't none of that racial weird shit going on or none of that. Everybody, like, fuck with everybody. It's, uh... It's, it's like a little, it's a lot of unity in Gardena. I'm just say that, uh, for show, for show. What you gonna say? Who the fuck is this? He like 45, rapping, looking for a hit. That motherfucker broke. He should be up on his shit. Plus, I'm just paying homage. Why you acting like a bitch, please? Putting all that brown face can never feel these. Shoes on my feet, all these crispy white tees. You don't need a drama, boy. You need some other keys. We don't fuck with Tiger. Free that boy, 03. Damn, he said we don't fuck with Tiger. Free that boy, 03. 03 Greedo. Damn, they mad. Tiger pissed these people off. <laughs> Tiger didn't start some shit. God damn. She said take that brown face off. Damn. Like black face, brown face. That's fucked up. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah, Tiger. It's like the second time he did that, though. He did that before in another video. And I was like, eh. Nigga, you gotta, I don't know, you gotta like tap in on certain shit you do, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have did that shit. You wanna show love to put a homie on, but your ego got you unwilling to right your wrongs. Yelling like, girl, I'm buying love, I'm buying your songs. Man, we don't need you, give us back the fucking rubber, dog. Bottom line, you out of line for the second time. And it's See? no time someone told you we won't let it slide. This an industry where many overlook our grind. Yeah, we done lost some little homies for the dish they prime. Oh, you blind to our struggles in this rap shit? Drops are buzzing and we get it with no cap hit. Yeah, we buzzing, ain't no cap and you can have split. You must be on some of these Mexicans as clowns. Shit, let me... Yeah, they have been grinding for a minute. Um, The thing that I notice is... They got their own little sound, uh, the Chicano rappers. They got they they got technically their own genre. It kind of keeps them in the box, though. Everybody know this because like everybody don't want to hear that shit. They probably don't give a fuck. But some of them that do want to blow up, you gotta you gotta like do a little. It's same with the black rappers. You gotta do a little something different because if you just stay in that gangster rap element. You're going to be known on the underground level, but if you want to, like, hit that other level, you got to do a little something different. You feel me? You can still keep a gangster, but you just got to do a little different. Because when it's too underground, it just stays underground. <clears throat> but they, they, you know, they, like I said, they got their own, um, 
They got their own like genre with that shit, you feel me? Pretty much. They own little lane rather, they own lane, own niche, as they call it, niche. And uh Yeah. Like he said, I was just telling the homie this, uh they should he should have put like somebody on. He just said it in the song too, see so yeah, I, I I don't know. That nigga I don't know. I don't know what Tiger be thinking. A couple of things I respected for you. Respect the black culture, but I don't know how to rap it for you. And hip hop ain't a black thing, I got a lesson for you. Latino people is in the bronze at the foundation for you. Hip hop out. Okay. He said hip hop not a black thing, I got a lesson for you. Latinos started the hip hop. I uh, think you're wrong, buddy. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think you're wrong because, okay, for one, see, this goes back to what I said. I think he, he's like mixed with Puerto Rican because in New York where hip hop birthed that, right, where it started, it's black and Latino. Not Mexican. Mexican is some LA shit. In New York, they, they have Mexicans, but not really. They got Puerto Ricans in New York. Like, that's the dominant uh, Latino community. And LA is Mexicans, and you got a bunch of other Guatemalans, Salvadorans, different shit, but Mexicans is the majority. In New York, the majority is Puerto Ricans. And like I said, <clears throat> Puerto Ricans is like down the street from New York, you feel me? It's like how Mexico is down the street from LA, you feel me? So, uh... Were they there when it started? Yeah, I, I, I for sure know that the uh, Puerto Ricans was there when hip hop started. But to my knowledge, uh, what's dude name? DJ Cool Herc is one of the founders of, uh, of hip hop and Coke LaRock. And them is, them is brothers. So uh, I don't know, you might be off right there on your facts. But if I'm off, let me know, you feel me? Uh, hit the comment section, let me know. If, but I know they was there. I know Latinos was there for sure. But I don't think they started hip hop, to my knowledge. But I know they was there break dancing, like you showed the little clip in the video. I know they was there rapping too. Unless DJ Cool Herc or Coke Rock is Puerto Rican. Cause like I said, Puerto Rican is a mixed culture. It's niggas that look just like me, that's Puerto Rican. Real talk, even darker. Or they could be mixed. Cause in New York, it's a lot of mixture you know this daddy might look like me and the mama light-skinned puerto rican you feel me so it could be that too but i don't know so yeah y'all y'all let me know because he just said that so uh you know what i'm saying hit that comment section and let me know that's an interesting uh topic right there now he, uh, okay. So now I just made a video about this about who started the low riders. That's been another hot topic. <laughs> It's always saying that the Hispanics started the Lolos. Like I said in my last video, I don't know who started the Lolos. Everybody's saying that it was around the same time everybody was doing it, the Blacks and the Browns. I know the Browns fuck with it a little more heavier, it seemed like, but there's a lot of Blacks saying that's old school, saying we they was always doing it too. Um, So who where did that come from? Who started that? Or is that just like a... Is it still in the air? If you know, leave the comment section. Was it the Latinos, that's the Mexicans in general, um, that started the Lolos, or was it the Blacks, or was it like they both was doing it? But somebody had to start it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has to start something, and then usually somehow somebody else would like embrace it more, or embrace it less, or the same. So, it might have been the Latinos, because they, they really love that shit. I mean, niggas love it too, though, but... I'm not sure. I'm asking a question. So if you know, hit the comment section on that. Who who started the low low thing? Remember that this homie's doing life for the cocoa. This shit reality, don't tolerate no racism. Keep it up, you might just end up with your face missing. Yeah, there's some killers that don't mind doing all day in prison. They'll take your life and get tatted with plastic symbolism. Don't give us all respect, and we gon' take it. That's all we do it for. Give a fuck about being famous. I'll tell you this shit once, don't underestimate our patience. Before your time is done, you'll have to answer for your hatred. Damn. Okay, that's 
shit for that video. He just made a good comment. He said, there's some motherfuckers that'll take your life that don't mind doing all day in prison. They get tatted with a Aztec symbolism. We all know what that means. I ain't gonna speak on that, but that's that, you know, that's that shit when, yeah, them boys get all day, they go join that issue. You know what I'm talking about? That's real talk. It's, but it's like that with the black side, too. Certain motherfuckers, you do some out of line. Niggas, there's certain niggas that go do all day. They ain't giving a goddamn. Especially the Mexicans. Them goddamn Mexicans, boy. They go get life and do life like it's a thing to do, boy. <laughs> I seen so many essays get life like it was shit. Like, I'm finna go. I'm finna, I don't care. I'm about to go get tatted up. Like, damn, nigga. You say you about to get tatted up? Yeah, like you about to get out tomorrow. I done seen them proudly get 20, 30 years to my I'm about to go upstate and get blasted. Like, damn. So, yeah, they really do that. I, I seen that with my own eyes. When I was locked up, them motherfuckers don't give a fuck. You know. But, uh, that's my reaction for that video. Uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, this Aikaramba thing is a motherfucking hot and trending topic. Uh... Shout out to Misfit Soto, you know. It seemed like he really had a lot to get off his chest. He usually do, he a dope artist. He usually do different kind of songs. Uh, but, you know, this is obviously just a response, you feel me? So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I know he fuck with a lot of blacks, obviously, because he from Hardthorn, so, you know. Uh, and he pushing the, uh, you know, he pushing the brown thing, which he's supposed to. And, uh, you know, like I said, Hartone is just, what, down the street from Gardena, so, yeah, that's like around the corner, you can walk to that shit. So let me know what y'all think, man, hit up that comment section one time, man. Most definitely, most definitely, man, thank you for tuning in, you know what I'm saying, can't stop the West Coast. Y'all see this right here? Yeah, West Coast all day. We repping this shit. It's my clothing line, by the way, Solid Black. If you like the shirts, go to www.solidblack.com. S-O-L-I-D-B-L-A-Q. You know what I'm saying? The website is under construction, or you can follow the Instagram, S -O at S-O-L-I-D-B-L-A-Q. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm on my personal Instagram that's at the end of the video. <clears throat> but uh, shout out to Miss Fish Soto. Uh, shout out for Tiger for taking the video down. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was something he really meant or what, or if it was some shit he just felt he had to do. Whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Everybody got to respect everybody. That, that's all it boiled down to. You know? Because you're going to mind somebody. Other than that, man, everybody have a blessed day, man. Stay humble. Stay positive. Do your thing. Most definitely. Most definitely. And get your bread all the time. One love. West West. Thank you.